In this video I will show you how to automatically synchronize your Home Assistant backups using Dropbox Sync. Dropbox Sync is an add-on created by Daniel Welch which uh, will allow you to synchronize your Home Assistant backups to your Dropbox account. The steps to do this are very simple. Copy the URL for the repository from this video's description, go to add-on store, add new repository by URL, paste the URL, press add, once you've pressed add, you will um, see further down um, dance hasio add-ons repository, press on um, Dropbox sync, and press install. Once it's installed you will need to configure the access token and the output uh, folder. I will show you how to do that. Go to dropbox.com slash developers slash apps slash create, create. You will need to be logged on with your account. Press on create app on the next screen choose an API, Dropbox API choose the type of access, full Dropbox or you can choose app folder as well uh, give the app a name and press create app once um, you're on the app screen go to generated access token and press generate once the access token has been generated, copy it go back to Dropbox Sync in your Home Assistant paste the token in config or auth access token in the output you will need to put your um, output directory where you would like um, um, the backups to be stored. You can use the option keep last. I chose the number of, uh, of backups to be three. All the, uh, the other backups, the older backups, uh, will be automatically deleted. Press save and press start. Make sure start on boot option is active. Then go and restart Home Assistant. Once it's back on, create a new script that when you run it, it will automatically upload the newest um, backups to your um, Dropbox account. Give it a name. The action type is call service. The service is hasio.addon stdin. And in service data, put um, the following as in this screen. I've also uh, put it in the video description. So you can copy and paste it exactly as you see it. Once you've created this script, you have two options. You can either just run the script manually every time after you created a backup so it will upload it or you can create an automation like I did so it can run every three days for example if there is a new um, backup it will upload it if not it will skip and uh, it will run again uh, three days later the automation I created I named it Dropbox Backups Upload. Uh, as a trigger I used a time pattern of 72 hours so every 72 hours it will trigger this and the action will be to call the script that I created earlier. It will run the script and if there is any new backup it will upload it to Dropbox if not it will skip.
Let's execute this automation. Let's see how it works. I'm going to the logs and in the logs I can see that it received a message with the command upload and it's uploading all the tar files in the backup directory that I specified. And these are the backup files that have been uploaded to my Dropbox account. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.